All right, it's Ron Goodall, fighthype.com. I'm here with none other, Jeff Mayweather. How's it going? Uh, it's going well. Um, yes, you know, first and hey, foremost, um, Joseph Brown looked really yet. great in sparring today. Um, just talk a little bit about Joseph Brown as a fighter. Um, I like to call him Mr. Undefeated because, you know, you can't take a lot, you know, in anything. Well, I mean, Joseph is a very, very special fighter. And one day, I think that his name is going to be in the annals of the greats. And um, he's a very, very humble kid. Um, it's weird how his dad actually found me. He said that I was going. To, he's telling his friend that I'm going to be training his son one day. And lo and behold, it's real. It's, it's real now. You, you guys didn't know each other, like part. He just said, "Oh, Jeff's going to train you one day." <laughs> like, like he like had your number in his phone. Or... Yeah, but I mean, he seen me on on social media, mm -hmm. and he reached out to me on social media. And um, and so Joseph's been coming out here for four years now. Yeah. And um, you know we, we get along real well. I mean Joseph's an extremely extremely nice humble kid. He's almost when he stays with me, I don't even realize that he's even there. You know, cause he he's he's either doing his um, cause I think he's still he does house school school from home so. He's most of the time he's doing that, or you know, or, or other than, other than that, the only other thing that he want to do is go to the gym and work out. So, <laughs> so it's kind of easy to deal with him. <laughs> I mean, at his young age, I mean, he's he just turned 17, and you know, he's already been in the ring with a guy like Jerron Boots Ennis, and got to work and spar yeah. with a guy like that. I mean, you you obviously come from a, a, a collegiate level of high level of boxing. So, I mean, when you see someone like Joseph Brown, like you can comfortably put your stamp like this is a good, solid blue chip fighter. Um, yes, I mean, put it this way. To see Joseph not meet the achievements that I think he will would be a disappointment for me. Oh wow! That's that's how good I think he is, and um, and so I think that he's going to achieve all the things that I believe that he's going to achieve. Um, the kid is he's amazing. He's amazing and. And like I said, the one thing about him is that he's a likable kid that, you know, he's not he's not arrogant or anything like that. I mean, he could be, you know, he's, he's 67 and 0 in, in, in all combat sports. So that, well, you know what that means, right? He'll whoop, that your means he can, he'll whoop your ass any way he want to. <laughs> and so... And so basically, you know, and that's what you're up against when you get in, in the ring with, with Joseph. And um, I think that his dad did an amazing job with him, you know. And I mean, the one thing I can tell the mixed martial arts part is him being able to judge distance. And he's great at judging distance. And, um, and I think that whoever steps in the ring with him, they got... They got hell on their hands. Um, now, I, I, I do want to ask the predictions. You always give great prediction breakdowns on the Mayweather Boxing Channel, so I don't want to soak too much, <laughs> you know, knowledge. And um, But I, I do have to ask about, um, they have a Tim Zhu versus Keith Thurman fight that was just announced, which I yeah, guess... I've seen that. Did, did that fight caught you off guard, or does it make sense to you? It kind of caught me off guard because, I mean... You know, Keith hasn't done anything in a long, a very long time. So it's almost like Keith is brand new again. Yeah. You know, and um, I just hope that the, um, the long, long layoff is, you know, don't, you know, don't hamper his performance. You know, sometimes it can help. Sometimes it, sometime it, sometime it'll be the reason why you lose. And, um, but... If I have to pick a winner, I would I would I would still lean slightly toward Keith Thurman. Oh wow! Okay. But I think that you know I think 
I think Tim Zhu has a, a, a great chance of winning also. So it wouldn't surprise me either. Either either one either guy can win that fight. And I don't, and so and it, it won't surprise me who wins. You know, um, seeing the fact that the long layoff, moving up um, and weight. I guess mm -hmm. professionally for the first time at one, I think the fight maybe at 155 too, or I don't know, they're seeing like a catch weight or some sort, but um, when you move up and wait, and, and I guess in this case, how do you properly do it without, you know, I hear tune-ups, you know, sometimes it gets you filled well, out. Well, a tune-up is, is tune-up is, is really what should be done, mm -hmm. but it's probably one of those fights that just came his way and, and he just said, okay, well, let's do it. Yeah. You know, and um, there's nothing wrong with that either because I mean, if you're a fighter, that's what you do. But um, you know, so I take take my hat off to him for you know for, for stepping up, you know, and and keeping the show going. But um, like you said, going up when you're going up in weight, you know, you're getting hit by bigger guys, and there's only one way to really get a feel of it. I mean, you can spar with bigger guys, but you have to fight a bigger guy to actually know the difference. Because in the ring, you can, when you get sparring partners, you can get anybody for a sparring partner. Mm -hmm. And I mean, just because they're big don't mean anything. You need guys that actually can fight. And and that could be, that could be his downfall. Yeah. I hear it all the time, like sometimes just the poor sparring or just couldn't get the right sparring partner. It's just simply the reason why they just couldn't prepare for the fight. Even though, like you said, big, strong, maybe even like an exaggerated, like a heavyweight. Yeah, just, I mean, but that, it's, it's still not the same. Yeah. Once you once you step in that ring, that's when you actually find out what you really have against the guy that's bigger than you. With Tim as a fighter, just what's your thoughts as him? Like his performance against like Brian Mendoza, Tony Harrison. Well, I actually I actually met Tim here when he came. He came here and trained here. Yeah. And I actually put him on a YouTube channel. Yeah. Extremely nice guy. You know, I was joking with him, you know, having fun with him. Real nice guy. And um, and I wish him well. I wish him well also. I mean, I just think that, you know, I think that he's, he's very talented. And, um, you know, and of course, from Australia, people love him. Yeah. You know, just like they loved his dad, you know, and... Um, he might be just as good as his dad, maybe even better. Oh, wow.